three, two, one. It's, it's not entirely clear, but one thing is clear, and that is that those who belong to Jesus Christ in the present will actually, and I hesitate to say this because it sounds arrogant or triumphalistic, but it's what the New Testament says, those who belong to Jesus Christ will be running the new world as God's stewards. But take away all the sting of the idea of running things as big, wicked bosses, sort of forcing everybody to do this or that. Because the model of leadership and of, of ruling which is there is that of Jesus himself, is that of the gentle shepherd, is that of the steward, is that of the one who says, if anyone wants to be great, they must be your servant. So again and again in Paul and in Revelation and elsewhere, there is this sense that uh, if you have learned in this life to look after the bit of the world that God has given you to look after, which might be your own body, might be your family, might be a business, might be a church, whatever, then this is preparing you to help God look after his new creation. And that's awesome. And actually, I don't think I've ever heard a sermon on that, but it is right there in the texts. And one of the loveliest lines in the text, right at the end of the Bible, it says that out of the new Jerusalem, there flows a river, and the river has trees on either side of it, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. So there is a project of healing in God's new world. What that means, I really have very little idea, but it sounds to me full of hope and possibility.